This is a little awkward. I wish we'd known each other better. But while you're here, let's talk about what a rocket and your life have in common. They both require you firing on all five cylinders so that you can head out in that bright, bold, beautiful sky. Now, what are your cylinders? These are the main areas of your life. These are what I call your cores. These are what you need to pay continual attention to, build success habits in, stop failure habits in, and find balance in so that you can become the best version of yourself. So now what are these? The first is your mindset. Your mindset, super duper important. You're gonna wanna hold on to this one. It's your overall perception in life. Is the glass half empty? Is it half full? Are you a victim that says my brain is broken, I was born the way I am and there's nothing I can do to change it and life kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Or are you an owner of your life that says life is what I decide it's gonna be. I have everything within me to become the best version of myself. I'm gonna kick ass, take names, and there ain't no doubt about it. Next, your career and your finances. Super duper important, yet we most of us spend most the majority of our time on this one. Yes, financial is important. You wanna make sure that you're financial secure enough to be able to fire on your other four cylinders and to express those things in life and not stress all the time. However, it's not about just waking up, doing something that you absolutely hate, pulling, wanting to pull the covers over your head and just kind of getting through life thinking that that pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. No, it's about waking up every day and you can't wait to burst out of bed because you know exactly what your strengths are, what your passions are. You've put that together, you've created a purpose, you've got goals to make that happen. You're firing on those every single day on your way to greatness. Next, your relationships. Super duper important, evolutionarily speaking, we are made to be close to other people. We used to travel in herds and packs. It was safe, it made us feel good, and it also protected us from getting eaten by saber-toothed tigers. We still have that, and yes, tigers aren't out there, but in a way they still kind of are. And if we don't have that connection, and if we're not continually firing on that cylinder and building momentum and doing those success habits, like not just liking somebody's Facebook, page or not just sending them a text, but actually spending real time face to face with the people that we love, we care about, having that connection. If we're not doing it, I guarantee you something's not gonna feel right and you're not gonna be living your best life. Next, your physical health. Super dupes important. This is your energy. This is this is your, your physical self that if you can't fire on this cylinder and you're not building momentum in, you're not gonna be able to do the other four cylinders. It's about your, your overall energy by creating it through exercise, sleeping well, eating well. In terms of eating, what are you putting in your body? Is it all chemicals and crap? Because you ain't gonna feel good if that's the case. Evolutionarily, again, we're not made to process that stuff. We're made to process organic, real, good stuff. That's what makes us feel good. That's what gives us that energy. Exercise-wise, how are you expressing that? I'm not talking about just forcing yourself to go to the gym for the sake of going to the gym, but what do you enjoy doing that gets you moving? Me personally, I love me some basketball. I like to play three times a week. It gets me moving, I get cardio, I don't even feel like I'm exercising. It's become part of my routine, I don't even think about it, I look forward to it and I love that feeling that I get when I'm done. And then I lift weights afterwards and I have it stack that with uh, books on tape and audio and podcasts that actually also help to motivate me or I listen to music that gives me that audio motivation. Lastly, your emotional health. Soups, dupes, importante. What are you doing? Are you just a chicken with its head cut off, running through life with its head down in the sand? Or are you actually stopping to smell the roses? Do you know what you're super passionate about and you're expressing those things on a regular basis? Or are you just going through life hoping that you will get to point A to point B to point A to point B and it's this never ending kind of, oh, there's this whole nother life out there. I didn't realize that. I gotta focus on doing this, this, and this and your head's down in the sand. No, it's about growth. It's about expressing those passions, doing the things you love, whatever fills that soul and that spirit, making sure to regularly incorporate those. Now, as far as your legacy, giving back, are you just stepping on heads to get ahead? Are you just lying, cheating, stealing your way through life because you wanna have that pot of gold again at the end of the rainbow? It's not about the end, it's about right now. What are you doing to make others feel good? Because when you do, I promise you, it'll come back 10, 100, 1,000 fold. It's an amazing feeling that most of us just ignore because I think evolutionarily wise, again, 
it makes sense to get ahead and get, build that power because we think then we'll be safe. But in this day and age, that doesn't actually make sense. So the other, the last part of it is your legacy. What is it that you're doing to leave that legacy? Are you going to leave the world a better place than when it started? Or are you leaving it a worse place? Is it gonna be better for having you in it? Or is it gonna be like, damn, I wish that guy was never born or that gal was never born. So these are all things I really want you to think about. My purpose, my legacy in life is helping people become the best version of themselves so that they can in turn help the world become the best version of itself. I figure if I can help enough of you guys to become the best version of yourselves, you'll then wanna pay it forward. You're gonna help the world build that positive momentum and we're all gonna fly up into that bright, bold, beautiful sky together. Ambitious, yes. Necessary, absolutely. So what I hope is that you will kind of connect with these five cores and understand how important they are. I've got two young kids that I wanna help make the, sure that the world is the best place for them. If, whether you have kids or not, I think we can all agree that we want the world to be a better place. It's a little bit crazy and nutty right now. So let's figure out your five cores. Let's start firing on all five cylinders. Get moving, gain momentum, join the movement. Stick with me. I promise you won't regret it. Thanks.